long time no see hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is madeline if you are new here please subscribe if you are new um i usually make weekly lifestyle fashion videos i live in new york city so there's a lot of that today's video is going to be another day in my life i'm gonna do an update section later on in this vlog because i've got to get my day going but just to kind of preface I got a new job in the last couple of months and I feel like my mental health is so much better because I'm not at the company that I was at anymore but we're gonna talk more about that later today is a full day I'm off from work and okay I have no food in the house so I have to go and get breakfast. I think I'm gonna go to Maman. I've been vibing with that place lately. And then after that, I have two Zara returns because I just had an event at my new job and um, I was having some issues with dresses not fitting properly and just not looking good. So I have to do that. There's also a dress that I want to see if this Zara has in stock because I'm going to a fashion show tonight. Obviously, I'm going to film that. Um, and then after that, I really just need to go to Trader Joe's. Like I said, there's no food in my apartment. And I'm starting to break into that emergency pasta bag. Like, I know we all have something like that, whether it's, I don't know, frozen meals, but it's what you eat when you no longer have real food, essentially. So I need to go get food. Um, it's about 11 o'clock on a Thursday. This week was Halloween, so it's November 2nd. And obviously I'm gonna take you guys with me. It's great to be back on here. I'm so excited to be filming again. I, I always forget that vlogging is my happy place and it really is what brings me joy and it's my creative outlet. I don't know why I don't utilize it more. I get on these kicks where I love doing it and I'm super consistent with it. And then something happens like I just moved in June and then my whole job change and everything like that. It's kind of the last thing on my mind, which sucks, but it does bring me a lot of happiness. And so we're back on it again. It's also going to be a busy weekend. So I'm planning to film that as well. I'm going to have some good vlog content coming to you enough of me rambling let's go ahead and get the day started so this is my new bag that i've been carrying around you guys know that i love mark jacobs totes um i usually am carrying the mini uh like tan canvas tote but this is their new mini duffel tote i'm going to show you in a full length but i thought i would show you up close because it's so cute with the embossed lettering here obviously with the duffel logo excuse the dirty mirror but it's finally getting cold and i mean cold in the city again we just had this heat wave last week which was so bizarre like it was cool 50s and then suddenly it was 70s and then saturday was 80 something it was wild but yesterday was the coldest day so far it was the low 40s it's currently low 40s now so i have on my go to fall winter errands outfit so i've got on my johnny coda hoodie and then my daniel bernstein long blazer coat spags leggings and then my go-to adidas sneakers i really need to get some new ones because these have seen better days and then this is what the little uh duffel tote looks like on super cute jewelry is swarovski and I think that's the whole look. So I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys in the city.
tiny bit of a flop, honestly, but I found a cute top that I'm gonna try to style with some pants that I already own. And then I actually found something that's on my mom's Christmas list, so I went ahead and picked that up for her. Now we're going to two jokes. what's a vlog without doing these so let's start with the rx bars i'm pretty sure i've shown these before this is the honey cinnamon peanut butter these are so good they taste like this crunchy peanut butter i don't know how to describe it but they're perfect like in a pinch sometimes i don't have breakfast and i'll eat one of those um, or if I just feel like I need a snack in the middle of the day, I go for one of those as well. Then I got the almond butter granola. I got some yogurt, which you'll see eventually. I've been having this for breakfast and it's super yummy. Next up, got some broccoli that I'm just gonna put in a pan and cook. Then I got the gnocchi alla Sor sorrentino with tomato sauce and mozzarella. These are perfect in a pinch too. You literally just throw these in a pan and heat it up. They have different flavors of this too. I like the Cacio e Pepe spaghetti one. They have a Cacio e Pepe gnocchi one. Um, they have lots of options. Next up, a classic, just the vegetable fried rice. I got a couple of lunches for the week. Uh, this is the Mandarin style orange chicken bowl. I like to have these for lunches just because they're easy to heat up and they're very filling. Then I got the butter chicken. This is probably my favorite one that I've discovered thus far. Uh, this is the yogurt I got. It's just the Trader Joe's brand. It's Greek yogurt, honey flavor. And then as you guys saw in some of the B-roll, they're starting to come out with their Christmas items. The first one I got is the dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojo's. I usually like the normal JoJo's that aren't covered. It's basically like an Oreo and they're good, but the covered ones I have not had. Can't wait to try those. And then also in Christmas theme, this is the Peppermint Pretzel Slims. I know they make a version of these for like the fall time. They do like a pumpkin spice version. Then next up, I'm probably gonna try these as soon as I'm done uh, filming this. These are the baked pizza flavored pillow crisps. A Sardinian snack. I think I've had a version of these before, but not flavored. I don't know. I saw them. They're new. They look really good. Also got the classic sea salted saddle potato chips, basically like a Pringle. Um, also in the Christmas theme, I got a chocolate advent calendar. Tis the season. I'm so excited for Christmas this year. I think because I've had a little bit of a tough year mentally. I'm really, really, really looking forward to the holiday season. Um, for me, my favorite time of year is November 1st through, I guess, New Year's, but really more so Christmas. That is my happy time. And I'm just really excited to celebrate this year with my mom and my boyfriend. We didn't really celebrate Christmas together last year because he's Jewish, obviously, but he doesn't like He's not super into Hanukkah or anything like that. And he said that he would love to celebrate with me this year. And he actually bought me a Christmas tree for my apartment. And I'm so excited to decorate it. We're definitely going to do that in a vlog together. Um, lastly from Paragos, these are the Truly Tortilla Chips. These are really good. They have a hint of lime. And then quickly, just from Zara, I'm not going to show you what I got my mom because just in case she watches this, I don't want her to see what I got her. But um, this is the top that I showed in some B-roll that I got for tonight. And I'm going to do, I think, some black leather trousers 
And I also have these patent kind of leather, silver, shiny pointed toe shoes. That doesn't help you at all, but you'll see it later on tonight. And I'm very excited to style this. This is not what I was going for, but once it was on, I was like, oh, that's really cute. And now I have a vision for the outfit tonight. So um, I'm probably going to eat a quick lunch. I don't know what I'm going to have, honestly. But after I do that, I kind of want to do a sit down chat together, do my life updates. Um, I have a feeling that I'm going to be like venting a lot for some reason. I don't know. I'm also in a talkative mood because I haven't done this in a while. Um, so we'll do that together. And then I kind of have an inkling to clean up a little bit around here. I, for some reason, want to go through my closet and just get rid of a ton of stuff because I'm just not wearing a lot of stuff that I have in my closet. Um, I really only reach for my staples, like all of my jeans and my basic tops. I'm, I don't know, I, I just don't go out as much as I used to anymore. And like, it's great to have, you know, tops and dresses and shoes for that or whatever. But since being with my boyfriend, like we just go to nice dinners and like, I don't need to have my boobs out and like wear super short skirts. And I don't know, it's just, just not the vibe. I feel like my style is morphing to be a little bit more mature now. So enough of me blabbering. I'll see you guys in a bit. Just finished eating lunch. I had leftover paella from dinner last night. My boyfriend and I went to this place called Tasca. Uh, it was delicious. I've never had a proper paella before and it was so yummy. There were like clams and mussels, shrimp, calamari on a bed of rice. It was so good. Anyway, this portion of the vlog is why we're all here today. Um, this is going to serve as my life update. I think the majority of this is really just going to be a stream of consciousness, so bear with me. But I have a lot to say and I really hope I don't get too heated and I hope I don't overstep, but the topic of switching jobs really gets me fired up because I don't think it's a secret. Well, it's not a secret. You can figure out where I worked at prior. The company that I worked for uh, before I got my new job was the place I interned at. It was also the reason uh, why I moved permanently to New York and it was really great you know for I don't know the first however many months it's a place where from the outside looking in it looks like a very glamorous job and if you're not working there you really don't know what goes on behind the scenes it may look amazing but when you are an employee of this company you are miserable and I know that I can speak for a lot of my friends and fellow co-workers who are still there um, we're all miserable and what really sealed the deal for me and the reason that I decided to leave uh, took place earlier this year in February where um, I was told that if I didn't get my conversion percentage up, that my job was threatened and my time at the company would be reviewed after this 30 day period. And that was the nail in the coffin for me. Of course, there are a lot of other things that happened, but for me, I was really tired of being looked at as a number and not as a person, not being looked at as me, Madeline, who I like to think is a kind, genuine person. My stamp on life and what I want to be remembered for is not my conversion percentage. I remember that time, that 30 day time, I was very anxious, very depressed, was fearing for my job every time that I went to work. I remember sitting in my fitting room one day and my director came in and I just broke down and sobbed to her because I could not take the pressure anymore. I didn't think that conversion necessarily mattered in comparison.
comparison to all of the money that I was making for the company and not once was I appreciated for it. So since February, I left in August. Um, but that period, how long is that? Like six months? For six months, I was silently battling anxiety and panic attacks in the middle of my appointments because I just thought, you know, well, what if this person doesn't buy from me? What if one more person walks out the door? That's just, my conversion is decreasing and decreasing and decreasing by the appointment. It affected me in a way that I would just take all of the pressure and misery home with me. And I know that my friends could see it. I know that my boyfriend could see it. And I genuinely just did not feel like myself anymore. The happiest I've ever felt was at the tail end of COVID when I embarked on my gratitude journey. And I felt genuinely so happy and grateful for life. And this year, it has just been the complete opposite. I wanted out of that company so incredibly bad. I was waiting for any opportunity to leave. And then something was placed in my lap. I want to say maybe in early July as so I was waiting for a sign to leave and that was it. It's crazy how different the company is that I work for now in comparison to the previous one because from day one, I'm talking from my very first interview until now, they have been consistent with seeing me as a person and being kind and being genuine and making sure that I'm taken care of and that I'm appreciated. It's really crazy because this company is so amazing and team driven. At times, it's not that it, it's not that it does not feel genuine. I just can't believe that there are people out there who care about their employees. It's funny because I feel like I'm having to unlearn a lot of things. Like I have expected to be treated terribly and I have expected to be looked at as a number because that's what I'm used to and it has been anything but that. I feel like as the days go by and as the weeks go by, I'm finding myself again and I'm starting to feel like me again and my anxiety is slowly 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 drifting away i certainly have days that are bad but i just kind of feel at peace i feel very balanced i don't hate waking up and going to work every day i'm looking for currently i'm not super excited for some reasons that i can't necessarily share because I've decided I'm not gonna outright say, this is where I work for like security and safety issues, but it's not hard to figure out. The reason that I say I'm currently not excited about going to work is because the place I am working for is not technically open yet. It's opening this month, but there's a lot of prep work that's going into it that I'm a part of. I guess I'll share my title with you though. I am the clientele lead, clientele manager of this company slash this location. Whenever I first started with them, I just kept saying, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve the kindness, but I do because I was treated so poorly. I feel like I have PTSD in a way, which is really unfortunate that other people can make someone feel that way no one deserves to feel like they are the scum of the earth if you take anything from this portion of the video if you're unhappy at your job please figure out and recognize why you feel that way because i promise it is not worth being miserable every single day for me it was really hard letting go of what i knew and it was hard letting go of how glamorous the job appeared there were certain aspects of it that i felt like i was in a movie that had so many pinch me moments that i could only dream about 
and that younger me would have been so shocked that I actually made it to this place and I to me was semi-successful but that's life and I feel like I outgrew this place and I outgrew being treated poorly. I'm gonna get off my soapbox now because I feel like I'm just talking in circles. I literally poured myself a fancy glass of high noon because I was nervous to talk about this. That wasn't so bad. I feel like I don't have to bring this up anymore. Honestly, like it's just been on my mind and I knew that I wanted to share it with you guys and I'm glad that you know now and you know the real reason because not a lot of people know the real reason for leaving. But what's interesting is that tonight, the fashion show that I'm going to, I've actually been to this designer's fashion show twice before and it's in association with the company I worked for last but I am going with my boss from my current company isn't that weird like how things connect New York is so small it really is like such a small town and everybody knows everybody but nonetheless I'm excited to see the designer I'm excited to see her new collection I'm excited to see my friends um, I'm not excited to see certain people there but it is what it is I'm gonna be a big girl and be cordial smile and wave and have some champagne let me know in the comments if you can relate about this whole thing have you been in a place that you weren't happy at and it was really hard for you to leave let me know I would love to hear your story if you have one can you back up a little bit I'm just going to the vlog can you keep backing up this is fun oh my god does my hair look okay yes are you sure you killed it okay so i'm getting ready to head out and go to the panina tournay fashion show i wanted to show you guys my look before i head out the door so essentially this entire look is zara go figure this is one of the tops that i showed earlier in the vlog today i think it's super cute and the back is out as well and then I just paired it with some leather trousers. And these are the shoes I was trying to describe earlier, this pointed toe kitten heel situation. I think it goes cute with the cool tones of the outfit. And then just a quick overview, my accessories are all from Swarovski. These are my lucent earrings, which I absolutely love. And then I have my lucent ring to go in pink and also my matrix band ring so makeup and hair is all by me hopefully it looks good and i'm gonna go ahead and head out the door talk to you guys after the fashion show last night but it was absolutely beautiful and it was amazing to see my co-workers again and just get to catch up and be in that environment of fashion shows again it's actually the day after I've had a full day of work I'm back home that's why I look a little raggedy and I'm here to end the vlog actually so Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed if you made it through to the end. Um, I am off tomorrow on Saturday and the day after that and definitely have some things going on this weekend. Um, I'm going to be with my boyfriend for most of it and there's a lot of good stuff that I want to vlog for you all. So definitely stick around for that. I hope you enjoyed uh, the reintroduction of vlogging again. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you aren't already. Also, comment below, are you excited for the holidays to approach? Whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas or Hanukkah, tell me what you're most excited for. And I will see you guys shortly in my next vlog. Bye.